In the vast annals of Rome's illustrious history, a time of seismic change and upheaval reigned, the era of the late Roman Republic. In the second century BC, Rome, having already established its dominance over the Mediterranean, was a republic on the brink of transformation. This period, rife with political drama, military conquests and societal shifts, set the stage for the rise of one of Rome's most influential figures, Gaius Marius. Gaius Marius, born in 157 BC in the small Italian town of Arpinum, wasn't born into the traditional Roman nobility. Instead, he was a novus homo, a new man, a term used to describe someone who was the first in their family to serve in the Roman Senate. This humble beginning, however, did not deter Marius from his ambitions. Marius's military career began early. As a young man, he showed exceptional military prowess and courage, quickly rising through the ranks. It was his military genius that led him to reform the Roman legions, a move that would forever change the Roman army. He replaced the old manipular system with the cohort system, making the army more adaptable, efficient and deadly on the battlefield. In the year 107 BC, Marius was elected consul, the highest political office in the Roman Republic. Not just once, but an unprecedented seven times, he held this position. His first consulship was marked by his successful campaign against Jugurtha, the king of Numidia, whom he captured, bringing an end to the Jugurthine War. His subsequent consulships were characterized by his relentless efforts to protect Rome from the threat of the invading Germanic tribes, the Cimbri and the Teutones. His victories over these tribes in the battles of Aque Sextiae and Vercelli not only saved Rome, but also increased his popularity among the Romans. However, Marius's career wasn't without controversy. His ambition for power led to a bloody and destructive civil war with his rival Sulla. This conflict, known as the First of Rome Civil Wars, marked the beginning of the end for the Roman Republic. Though Marius's life ended in 86 BC, his impact on Rome and its history is immeasurable. His military reforms laid the foundation for the Roman military machine that would dominate the ancient world for centuries to come. He opened the door for men of humble beginnings to rise to positions of power in the Roman political system. Moreover, his life and career served as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unlimited power and the destructive potential of civil strife. His rivalry with Sulla set a precedent for the power struggles that would plague the late Republic, ultimately leading to its downfall and the rise of the Roman Empire. Gaius Marius was a man of contradictions, a military genius, a populist leader, a power-hungry politician, and a harbinger of Rome's fall from a republic to an empire. His life, filled with victories and defeats, reforms and destruction, embodies the complexity and dynamism of Rome's late Republic era. In the end, Gaius Marius left an indelible mark on Rome. His legacy, like the man himself, is complex and multifaceted, a testament to his enduring influence on one of history's greatest civilizations. His story, like that of Rome, is a reminder that power, ambition and change are inextricably linked, shaping history in ways that continue to resonate even today.